Hey guys, welcome back to the Rabbitat Homestead. Well, we got a ton of snow and it's still snowing. It's been snowing all night and it's gonna supposed to snow all day. So, so if you're interested in raising rabbits, but you're worried because you live in a cooler climate where there's a lot of snow and you have pretty rough winters, um, you don't have to worry about that with rabbits. Rabbits do so much better in climates like this than they do in very hot climates. Um, they practically live in a winter coat all year round, so they thrive in this type of weather. Woo! We usually put plywood up right here just to keep the wind off of them. Um, so we need, we need to do that. We kind of dropped the ball on that. So we need to take care of that. But um, as you can see there, they're doing great. Um, really the only thing that's different is than any other time of year is you have to make sure that they have plenty of water. So I come out here two to three times a day and make sure that I fill up their water bowls. Um, and they do great. Now one thing that I choose to do um, that you don't have to do but I like to spoil my rabbits a little bit is give my breeders nesting boxes, um, the does and the bucks. And you might wonder well do they soil those boxes because that can be really unhealthy for a rabbit if they soil their box and they sleep in it. And if they start to breathe in the fumes from their waste in their nest box. Well, my males do not soil their nest boxes at all. Um, Earl loves his nest box. Um, if I come out here really early in the morning, I'll see him in there still. Um, but they definitely sleep in it. And I think they definitely enjoy having their nest box, especially in the winter months. Um, it just, you know, kind of contains their warmth, gives them something soft to sleep on, gets them off the wire. Um, and makes them feel enclosed because rabbits, you know, naturally they burrow. Um, so if they were wild right now, they'd be underground. So I like to give them their nesting box and um, makes it a little bit more comfortable for them. Um, now my does don't soil their boxes either. Um, and it really depends on your does. I mean, they will, some does will. I don't really have that problem with my does. The only time I have an issue is if I have um, a litter of kits in with my does and the kits will soil the box and I have to clean it out quite often. Um, and in the winter months, the baby kits get their nest box a lot longer than they would if they were, if it was summertime. But yes, I do breed my rabbits in the winter time. Even when it's below zero, I still breed them. Um, I don't breed them as um, much in the winter time. Um, I'll usually wait until my does are eight, until my does kits are eight or nine weeks old and then I'll go ahead and rebreed the mother. Um, so I give her quite a bit, um, quite a bit of time to rest and take a break. So um, sometimes I do give them a break, um, but I do breed a little slower in the winter time, but I still keep the breeding process moving quite a bit in the winter time as well. Really all year round I'm breeding, but um, certain times a year I do it um, soon, more sooner rather than later. It really just depends on the time of year. But I just recently um, bred Lucky, so she's going to be having babies in a month and we'll definitely have snow in a month. So I'll keep you up to date on that and I'll show you kind of the challenges to that um, as well as the positives. Um, so you'll get to see that. But if you're wondering, can you have rabbits in this type of weather? Yes, you can. You do not have to worry about it. You don't have to give them any source of heat. You don't have to give them, you really don't have to give them anything. They don't need electricity unless you have some fancy watering system. Um, but I, like I said, I just give them the waters and the bowls and they do, they do great with it. So I'm going, so this morning I'm going around, I'm making sure they all have water. And then this afternoon I'll come out again and I'll feed them and give them water again. But in case you're wondering, yes, you can have rabbits in this climate. So these are my grow outs right now. I have four in here and four in the other one, separated by does and bucks. And they're thirsty, so I'm gonna get them some water.
There you go, Stormy. See, she has a nesting box in here. She's not pregnant or anything. And as you can see, it's pretty clean in there. It also gives me a nice spot to put their hay as well. And this is one of my bucks. This is Arlo. As you can see, there's his nest box. Not soiled at all. There you go, Arlo. Sometimes when I come out here, sometimes when I come out here, my rabbits will spill their water bowl right after I give it to them every once in a while. So when that happens and there's snow on the ground, I'll just, usually I just bring out a gallon of water. That's usually enough for all my rabbits. Um, but I'll take the bowl and I'll just scoop up some snow and stick it in their hutch. <laughs> 